Hello, everybody. It is that time again. It is your host, Dragon's Fury, with Infernal Drake in the clutch. Yellow. Yeah, oh, excuse me. I, I, God, I apologize, but I will. All right. Yeah, a little, <laughs> a little extra <laughs> kick in the step. Yeah, that one stuck up on me. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, we hope you are enjoying your Friday. Hope you had a decent week. Hope your week is now better that you are listening to the episode. Um, as of right now, the show has been completely converted over to YouTube. So you can find all of the episodes there. We are still mainly on Spotify. That is still the home base. Those are the people we started with. So they're going to write it through. But Google has gotten the boot. They are no longer going to be a service for um, the next, well, the rest of time, but they close in about a month or so. Uh, Google is just like, nope, we're not doing this anymore, and they're funneling everything into YouTube. So we've already transitioned everything over. All of the uh, free episodes are available on YouTube. I'm sorry, guys, but the subscriber episodes, the way that it's being funneled into YouTube, don't actually show up there. Uh, so you still have to subscribe either on the Patreon or through Spotify. Yeah, that is just weird. Uh, it, it, it could be. I'm sure there is a way. It's just I don't know yet. Uh, it, there, there's two dudes running this show. So Yeah, one of these yeah. days, uh, let, me, <laughs> let, me, let me have a crack at it. Let me see if I can find anything. Um, yeah, no problem. And, uh, yeah, so that we have all of that, and we are hey, moving and grooving everything, if for the most part, it's, you know, going pretty solid. Uh, we have the uh, Valentine's Day coming. God, the fact that that's so. almost here. Yeah, so hopefully where, you Where did, where did January plans. go? Uh, right down the toilet with all of the other stuff that I had to inventory and type <laughs> up and emails and all the things I've been doing in this month since I got promoted. Like, holy tits. And I got promoted halfway through the month. So I was just like, fuck, man. Um, but hey, at least you got the promotion. I got the promotion. So for all those that haven't heard that episode, yes, yes. What I do, I got the big boy job. I got a bigger boy job. And then I got Let's a bigger go. boy job. I was doing it anyway, and so I, yeah. It just made sense. Made sense. And I was all untold, so... Um, <laughs> Paul when, told, okay. Yeah, when when the when the position opened up, my boss at the time was like, "You should apply." And I was like, "Oh, yeah, yes, okay, <laughs> okay." <laughs> I don't have any of these expertise. I am just literally winging it. But uh, I mean, everything hasn't most... burnt down yet, so we're good. I feel like that's most jobs these days. It's yeah. like as as long as you meet like a little bit of the qualifications, and as long as they're willing to teach you the rest, you're good. Yeah, no, it's fine. We're all we're we're all together still. So I was like, we got a we got a new guy in, and he's great. So he's my main partner, and then my former partner is heading out. Hopefully next month, uh, he will be starting his promotion. Um, oh, spot. So we both had moved up. Everyone's he's just moving up, and yeah, he's just waiting until he gets his his all clear, and he's off to Kuwait. Yes. Dang. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's a that's a move. He'll he'll be the field guy, and I can do the thing. So story time. Um. So I've been with who I work for now for about two, not about like I hit my two year mark November right, mm. and when we had started because uh, me and the the partner that I am referring to we'll just call him. Um, We'll call him Smoke. Smoke. And Smokey. so, yeah, Smokey. Um, so me and Smoke came around the same time. So I came in November. He came in about January. Um, but got, yeah, his start time was in January, but he got hired in December. And it was like like during that weird time of the holidays or whatnot. So they didn't bring him on in, during then because things would be weird. Yeah, so he just started yeah that's, that's always an awkward time to start um, but yeah, they had already picked him. Come, uh, well, someone's upset. It no, he he just wants to go see his girlfriend or the person <laughs> he would like to be his girlfriend. Ah. she's way too old for him. <clears throat> um, and so, so we were doing that, and then 
so like as we're as we're getting this time, it's like, baby, you're not going out. I'm sorry. <laughs> you you just Zuko. need to accept this. Zuko wants to be a part of story time. Yeah, he no, he wants to be like, let me out. I was like, no, <laughs> no. Okay, so side story time. So this crackhead almost oh, like pretty much just like charged into the like the neighbor's apartment, like where the the what? other pity <clears throat> lives, because that's who that's who he's like super infatuated with is the oh my the god pit bull that's a, across the way. So we, for the most part, have him about like eighty five percent trained to the point that he can just go out himself. We'll just open the door and he'll just go. And then he'll, so he'll just go downstairs, go pee in a bush, and then come back upstairs. Yeah. Um, and so it's not weird for us to open the door and just let him out. And, like, our neighbors kind of know that, too, right? And so he, he's, like, making the noise that he does, i.e., like, talking because he's not full husky. So he, so we're like, oh, you need to go out. So he goes out, and then we realize, no, he's doing that because he's like, oh, the other the other dog's out. And so she's out, and again, she's too old for him, so she just does not care. Uh, mm -hmm. She's like, I think she's like nine or ten. Like, she's oh, she's wow. out there. Like, she, she's, she's an old baby. Um, and he just, like, barrels down over there. I was like, Jesus Christ. Um, so yeah, so yeah, this is correct. So we can't we can't even trust him like fully giving the signal that he needs to go out because it might just be him saying that he wants to go out for a different reason, not that he needs to go pee or take a shit. Nah, he's so trying to go mac on the the other dog. Uh, and I was like, Jesus. So basically, or one of you, run the fade you... with the stupid Chihuahua across the way. Oh Jesus. So basically, one of you always have to be with him if you, if he's to go outside. We we have to check the premises first. We gotta do, we gotta go look through the little peephole to see who around, and otherwise, then we can, you know, just let him go do his do his business. But yeah, so back to the original story. Um, we we had like this running joke where it was like, you know, all we need to do is you know just work our way up, so that way. I can pull my ever long joke of I know a guy, right? So like yeah. whenever they they need something was it was like I know a guy and it would be him, it would be smoke. And so 2 years later <laughs> we both got Verona, he would be out and theoretically yes, I would be like I know a guy. <laughs> because all of the requests of what cuz I handle the requests from the guys that come in the come uh, they come in from the field like parts and stuff so whenever they send them like hey we need this it comes to me and they're like hey do we have this and so yes so i'll i'll have two of them out there where I, like i know a guy and i was like we basically just manifested this for ourselves which is hilarious but also hmm <laughs> oh it just comes full circle yeah it was like eh, very very interesting so yeah that that's where we we are sitting and i'm just kind of coasting it out until uh either we super pop off here and i don't need to go to that job anymore and uh i'll just sit on my butt and we just talk to each other and talk to all of our supporters and fun loving people who gave us money so that we didn't have to work hard anymore <laughs> but until I then mean, honestly, i feel do like it the even, classic way i feel like even if this does pop off like i will still obviously still work where i am you're already home and you don't work anyway <laughs> uh, i work actually let me tell you something that was so annoying about a recent uh thing obviously i can't go into too many details because obviously job stuff but i can tell you that so obviously we're located in uh north america and where i work we are only sub normally are only supposed to support like north all of north america and I got, and I had a customer that was over in Europe, in Greece specifically, and they were getting on my nerves because they, I kept telling them, please reach out to your local support so they can help you, and they're just like, no. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> like I'm, I'm like, wow. really? I'm literally on the other side of the world, and you won't actually like, hey, let's call closer <laughs> yeah no, like it, it was ridiculous but because also it's like we needed to like send parts out and stuff so that we that we can get their stuff working and they like they give me a location but apparently 
I don't know if this is for all of Greece or if just a set select areas. If you're near Greece listening to this, uh, please let us know because I need confirmation on this. But they have no addresses in that area. They have, like, locations, but not actual addresses. So I'm just like, I can't even help you even if I wanted to. <laughs> I don't so, know how to get there. Yeah, literally. Like, I even reached out to someone higher than me, and they're just like, yeah, no, you can't do shit. <laughs> It, so they literally just like just they're just like shut it down like don't want to tell me twice okay, goodbye <laughs> and goodbye but yeah, but yeah no yeah, like, that, like that drew that like that drove me mad for like a good couple weeks so I'm just like can't, like lady please just listen I am not in your country I'm not even Nothing in your time like zone a Grecian Karen oh god it was so bad yeah no no that's 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 <laughs> that's something oh man like. <sighs> And to know that you're, like, calling someone, like, it's one thing if you're, like, you guys are, like, this, the support no matter what, like, no matter where they are, but, like, you're dedicated to North America. So yeah. it's, like, I can't do anything for you, even if I wanted, because it sounds like she was calling about something that you wouldn't have even helped with anyway if she was, uh, you know, North well, America. No, well, no, if it was North America, it was an issue we could have helped with, because... Because obviously I work on computer, so it's like the issue was overheating, and um, so it's like, so it's like, does that section much... technically still cover under you guys though? Like I understand you can, but like, is that actually in yes. your purview? Okay. Yes, because for uh, where I work, uh, we ha we handle hardware and software issues. Obviously, I prefer the hardware because that's so much easier. Because software is a fickle bitch. Um, but yeah, so literally, I'm just like, okay, I know exactly what needs to be replaced, and but obviously they don't have an address, so it's like, well, I can't help you. That. <laughs> like, yeah. well, like they gave me, like they sent, I remember they sent me a Google link with the coordinates, like the global coordinates of their location. I'm like, that doesn't help me. Yeah, no, it's it's like so... I now know where exact, exactly you are, but that doesn't help me. <laughs> So, a sim so, all right, so apparently this episode has just turned into story time, which is perfectly fine. Yeah. So, um, so a similar thing, well, not like a similar, it's just in relation to the, hold on, since apparently Zuko is trying to speak again. It's the, it's the husky uh, speaking out. Yeah, no, it, it is the husky part <laughs> speaking, but the thing is, is that he's not full husky, so it just really just comes out to be a whine. And that's really where the annoying part comes in because it's like someone, I I equate it to dog speak in English of it being someone who's mumbling, like you know they're saying something but you can't understand them and at a certain point it's just aggravating, and you're just like, can you not? It's like please speak clearly. But yeah, like like please speak clearly. So do pardon the blip in the editing, um while i have a, a quick break of handling zuko so I, I do apologize for the auditory blip that will happen between editing because it's i don't want you guys to wait so it's gonna seamlessly not so seamlessly go together <laughs> but bear with me and we're back okay so uh, it, this was, I want to say, da, 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 maybe about a year and a half into m my IT job. And so we did do all over, right? But like mm -hmm. only certain all over, it was, com it was dependent on the school that we were. So mainly it was like you guys where it, it's, you know, North America, but yeah. Depending on the school, it was international. So, like, there was a, a, a predominantly Jewish school that obviously had a campus in Israel. And so, we, you know, it was like various places that was other countries. And mind you, a lot of the things that I did at this job was, again, on the fly, like we said. But they wouldn't tell us anything. Like, they wouldn't actually teach us, which was crazy because for something that is so, like, 
I wouldn't say random, but like you don't really know what you're actually supporting. Especially if it's like, so it's like, hey, we got a school in you know Nevada, we got a school in Texas, we got a school in New York. Oh, man, you each love of Texas. those, uh, each of those <laughs> schools had different levels of support. It wasn't the same support yeah. on each one. So hey, the one in Nevada, all we're doing is hey, I need to reset my password. Cool. That's all we're doing for them. Like, that's it. Now, granted, doing that was a process in and of itself because apparently those people over there are batshit retarded. Oh, Jesus. And <laughs> the amount of times that we ran into the problems of it's like, oh, you can't find, like, account can't be, fine, be found, right? Why can't mm. an account be found? Oh, well, I put in all of my information. It, it's literally the account lookup. So they, they register for the, you know, they register to go to the school. You, you put in all your information, blah, 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 blah. Tell me why apparently whoever was in the registrar's office had dyslexia, but there was like multiple people who had it because they would always flip their last name and their first name in those entries. So oh, the system yeah. is like their last name is their first name. The first name is their last name. And so we would have to go in and be like, just flip it around. Right. So we had to tell them without telling them the details because like technically we couldn't verify the caller because it didn't match the information that was on the screen so we're just like yeah for security reasons hey we know this tends to happen that the registration gets a little flubbed can you try maybe switching your name around wherever that might be we know exactly what the hell their name was and we knew exactly what the fuck happened it was just so much of this beating around the bush bullshit right yeah, which I mean, then, I can understand because like there is security reasons and you don't want someone like... No, no, no. This this wasn't security. It's not like we're like, okay. hey, we have all of okay. your address and like your social security. No, we have your first name, your last name, and your phone number. You know, the things you gave the school. That's what we yeah. had. It was the most basic level of shit. Now, the Texas motherfuckers, mm. those I could have ended so many people's careers. Oh, dear. I had so... So much power. So, so much. And with great his, his, power... His, his, villain, his villain side showing. ...comes with great irritability. <laughs> because I don't know why you would think it's a good idea to piss off the person who, A, is asking you to verify all of this personal information, which means I have a lot of access at that, and let alone also the person who you're asking to get back into your account which means i have at minimum the power to keep you in or out of your account yeah so you it's like should you should be bowing at my feet <laughs> verbally like, of me... course well yeah obviously but yeah it's like obviously it's like in that case like yeah no you may want to listen to the person that can help you like don't don't start these fucking fights it's it's ridiculous and so we had, you know, like stuff all over. And so I, I get a call from this one dude who I don't know he's in another country, right? Mm -hmm. And so so he has an accent and it's like, but I, I have a decent ability to like understand most people with accents. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's my dyslexia and I just don't understand most things as is anyway. So, you uh, know, things I, that are flubbed to normal people are just, you know, just probably whatever in my brain. And so they, they sound perfectly fine to me. And I'm like talking to him, whatever. And he just, and so I asked for a phone number and he just runs through a bunch of phone numbers, right? And I was like, okay, can you repeat that? And then, then he just runs through it at probably a faster speed. I was like, all right, dude, what? Okay. So I finally yeah, get the I, amount, I like to get the that. numbers. And then they don't line up to a, you know, a state's number, right? Now, I will admit, I was being kind of dumb. I didn't, it didn't dawn on me that he might not be in the States, right? Yeah. But in my defense, why is that my default? There's more people that I talk to in the States than there are people that aren't in the States. So I'm not going to default to, hey, you're not in the States when you get this, give me this wild string of numbers. I'll be like, what the fuck is this? Right. And so I'm just trying to figure out, I, I put it in and I was like, all right, whatever. So, I'm like, I don't know what this is about. And the thing is, is that I don't know why we support people in other countries if we can't call them back. We didn't have international calling. So 
we physically couldn't call them back if they're like if we got disconnected because again international like, they could call because, us like, but we can't call them <laughs> was it because like they're international students and they were going to be going to that school no or... they, it was it was the international campus mm, oh, and it was a okay, faculty makes... member on that campus they were in another country they were based there but okay, yeah, that, that makes more sense. why are we supporting them because they so the thing was that they routed everything to us like these schools were the it's the kind of things that make you wonder like are you money laundering because you're willing to pay this company to be basically your v verbal punching bag instead because you don't want to deal with your general populace. Yes, you may use the guise of it being like, there's a high volume of calls and we can't handle it ourselves, so we need you guys to give us help. No, we're not. We're doing all the work for you because needing help is, hey, if you get overrun, it gets routed to us coming in during like busy hours. But I shouldn't be taking motherfucking phone calls all the fucking day throughout your your regular working day you yeah, should God. be i remember that one day you just had back to back calls yeah and it was it was it was a nightmare because it's like as soon as i get off of one call another one comes in and i can't even figure out who the hell is calling cuz it came in so fast i was like who who's who am <laughs> who i talking you? to who are you people right it, I ugh, I hated that company so much. And the fact that they were, like, in business was wild to me because, like, they're a software developer. So it's, like, the fact that they had a, a help desk branch or whatever you want to call it was money yeah, laundering, makes... in my opinion. Because it's, yeah, like, you, that no sense. you're trying to make – you're trying to get some extra money and make it legitimized. And so you made up this falsehood of a, a business model. And we're, like, yeah, it's a help desk or whatever. It's, like, no. There was one like school I... that was paying us for them to not listen. Wait, what? Yeah. We, I, this was like one of those things that like sticks with you. Like I will always remember this because this pissed me off to a level that I never thought I would reach. Mm -hmm. Um, So Texas. <laughs> and. And I'll come back to <laughs> Where are they from? Texas? Uh, <laughs> the, this school cared nothing about their 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 student body like at all they didn't care about them so there was a known problem in their system that every time something a specific thing would happen it would break a bunch of shit right so mm -hmm. anytime they would like push a uh, push out an update it would break everything and it would basically just kind of like reset everyone's account so like push up an update and then it would just kind of fuck with everything and it would be like okay and reset so no one could get into their stuff anymore so everyone had the everyone who you know is using their account actively like a normal student should be. God forbid all of them did that, but they would c call in after it's been months of this happening, right? So at that point, it really doesn't matter because it would have been time for you to reset your password anyway, right? But the fact that it keeps happening that it would reset people who didn't need the reset that happened yet as if it did and they knew this was a problem and we were like hey every time around this you know this time you guys do this thing this happens and we're like what's that about they're like oh yeah we know excuse me yeah, do you now then fix it you fucks <laughs> it's, like, it's like oh we'll get to that it's like those people like those it people that will call in to, uh, to where i work at like on friday and they've just sat on like 20 computers i've had issues since monday and in my head i'm just like and you're calling in now yeah on a friday on a friday four minutes before everyone leaves <laughs> yeah like god whenever i got those calls i was so mad or like even worse like when it was like uh, about to be like a holiday weekend and then like once everyone's back in after that weekend, they're just like, hey, where, where, it's like, where are my dispatches? And I'm just over here like, you called in the day before a holiday weekend. You can wait. Yeah, you can dispatch these nuts. <laughs> I'm just hey, like, I'm like, no, you can't. This can be real. This is not real. Hindsight's 2020 for some people. I, I don't even think it's that. I really don't. I, I, um, okay, fine, I, I don't. Okay, laziness. 
Yeah, yeah. But it also is like, I just think that people are just willingly to... They're more willing to take a string of L's than they are to take one L and admit that they were wrong. They'd rather just keep going and taking L's, believing or fighting for the fact that they might be or definitely not be right. Yeah. And just keep going and everyone else just thinks that they're idiots. They'd rather have that be the story than them admitting, okay, I was the problem. God, the amount of, I like, I, like, professional it people that like get really like hands-on like senior level that have called in for issues that like so for all those that are curious the main difference between an it person that you call into and a non-it person is that we know how to use google a little bit better <laughs> like like literally they tell me their issue and they tell me they've been working on this for hours I just type in what it is. One of the top Google searches was the answer. I'm just like, do this, this, and it's like, oh, it works. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> you don't what? say, Sherlock. <laughs> like the amount, the, the amount of times I've had to put my head in my hand just because of how frustrated these people make me. I'm just like, and you guys probably get paid more than I do. Oh, most definitely. And you're like, uh, what? <laughs> yeah, Why are you guys like these? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like the amount of times me and my team have just been like, we could take their job right now. <laughs> we could take it right now, and we still win. And they not. couldn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't stop me. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it, it's 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 crazy. Um, and I I know we're not the only ones. It's we we are not the only ones who have like these stories of hey what why <laughs> yeah why 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 are people like this yeah if any of you have had any of these kind of experiences please let us know and yeah please I, please I, share the horror curious. stories of of your customer service experience or uh, not even not even necessarily customer service just like your job just, might be kind of yeah, sucky just, like literally just being in the workforce like everyone like if you have not had a terrible experience in the workforce i need to know what job you have because i need that job. yeah we need we, we need that job um and so it is definitely a thing that we would like to share uh with everyone and whatnot um so with the end of that rant that is <laughs> that is our episode which we'll is on... kind of crazy <laughs> yeah but hey, I hope you all enjoy the story time. A little, yeah, a little different yeah. from what we normally um, do. Well, it, it is different from what we normally do, but it was still a part of like the core thing. I was oh, like yeah. in episode one that I said those like story times of stuff. Um, yeah, like, it is just yeah. also hard to do stories for a lot of things when I well ADHD with dyslexia. So you know, squirrel moments on a regular basis. But oh. I try. Yeah, <laughs> I try. Um. If you want more story time, I do have more uh, stuff. It's going to be in the, the subscriber episode, so uh, for all our Patreon people, pop on over there um, and uh, take a take a peek at what that is. Um, I have Power World stories of my adventures of that. Um, why League still fucking hates me. <laughs> and in a bunch of other stuff so if you uh if you want to know what that's about then you know hop on over there and if you're not a patreon member then maybe this might be the time for you to join in it's only a few bucks for that look that first tier yeah i think it's like three dollars three dollars yeah three dollars to get in yeah, five dollars for vip that seems reasonable to me so, we leave you with that and we mm -hmm. love you. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you for listening. <laughs>